morning, good morning everybody. We're at the Olsen truck stop, the Speedway in Clearwater, Minnesota. And I gotta tell you, they got the best priced coffee. They didn't tell me to tell you that, but I'm telling you that. $1.60. $1.60. You know how many places are charging like three to five dollars for a cup of coffee like this already? $1.60, I complimented them in there too. I said, that is a reasonably priced cup of coffee. Thank you very much. It's a good day. I'm gonna go pick up my load in Shakopee, Minnesota, which is uh, Minneapolis. It's like sort of Minneapolis, St. Paul. It's the southwest corner of the city. I'm gonna go grab a load there. We're gonna tie it down. We're gonna zip back home. I might be able to get back home for the night if I hurry. I don't wanna make any promises yet, but I have to deliver these uh, this load into Winnipeg tomorrow. But I might get home early enough that I can go and sleep in my own bed at home and see the family and then leave with it early in the morning. We shall see, okay? Let's get out there. We're not getting any, we're not getting anywhere sitting right here. All right, all right. Are you guys ready to rock and roll? I'm ready to get out there. Pre-trip's done, truck is doing good, trailer's doing good. The only thing wrong with it is there's no freight on my trailer. Let's go get it. It's about an hour from here. My appointment is for an hour and a half, so I have some extra time, but I wanted to be a little bit early. Just in time for the parade. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Busy here today. What's going on? Well, hey, I want to get to work. I'm all excited. Got myself all psyched up. I'm, I'm sending it. I'm going for it. part of the day getting back onto the highway here This 
lane ends as well. I need to get out of this lane too. Yep. Excusing me? Excuse me? Hello? Thank you very much. That went pretty smooth, I think. Not bad. So it's just around the corner up here. We're gonna get loaded. Hopefully it'll be quick. I'm about a half hour early for my appointment. That's right when they want us there. They don't want us there any more than half an hour early from what I understand, or is it an hour early? Whatever, usually if I get there at this time, they'll start loading me shortly, depending on how many other drivers are there. So chances are we'll be out of there by, oh, 9.30, I'd say, on our way home. And we have about a seven hour drive back, seven, eight hour. I might be able to get home in time for supper. I don't know if I'm gonna make it though. I mean, well, I don't wanna get myself too excited. I'll definitely make it back to Manitoba. I just don't know if I'll, make it home tonight because so I do have to deliver this tomorrow morning got my fancy pylon uniform on can you see me and my work sweater I need to get a new work sweater this one's pretty worn out already I like it though because it's blue but it is uh it has seen better days actually it's seen a lot of good days it's seen a lot of good days still doing good still works just waiting here for my turn to get loaded. There's two trucks getting loaded right now and I'm in the staging area along with one, two, three or four other trucks. I think, I think I'm next, but I'm, I'm still early. I mean, my appointment's at nine. The time is now 8.55, so within, probably in the next five minutes. And it doesn't take long to load at all. Once, the, once they get going, it's bang, bang, bang. They throw them on the trailer, I tie them down run over, get my paperwork, send it in, whoosh, we're gone. Just like that, bing, bang, boom. It's very quick here usually though. I'm not too worried about it. How far away am I from home? Let's see, I gotta start thinking about can I make it home tonight or am I gonna sleep in the truck? I don't wanna get myself all excited if it's not even a possibility. Yeah, eight hours. Uh -huh. Proceed to the highlighted route. 755 kilometers. 500 miles. I have the time on my clock to do it, definitely. I definitely do. So that would get me home. Let's say I leave here. Let's say we get out of here at 10. Give it an hour. 10.30, hour and a half. The latest, 10.30, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6.30. Plus about, be there about 7, 7.30. I could probably go home for the night, yeah. Just go sleep in my own bed, see the family get up early tomorrow morning and be in Winnipeg first thing in the morning. Because home is like right on the way, right? So we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll, we'll plan for that right now, but we'll also plan for the for the plan to change. Let's see what happens. It would be nice. Loaded up, ready to go, and the time is 9.31. Whoa, 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 easy, easy, easy. Get ourselves on to Interstate uh, 494 going around the city. It'll take us up to I-94 and that'll take us all the way up to North Dakota, I-29 North. Which will take us home. Minnesota. 
There's a quick trip here. They win our business. They have the cheapest prices today. In 300 meters, turn left on 45th Street and then 241. Flying J uh, St. Cloud or Pilot St. Cloud has really been dropping the ball. They were always, always the cheapest price for so long. And now Quick Trip has been beating them out recently. How do I, how do I turn left here? Okay, so I, I can't turn left. What? Oh, why did my GPS make me turn this way? I can't make a U-turn here. Now. What? What's going on here? Karen? What, what's with this exit? Why couldn't I turn left there? Quick trip's the other way. But it wouldn't make me... Let, I bet you there was another exit just past that. 205A, which I should have taken. Three kilometers. Take the entrance to the right on and then 101 South. Great. Now I gotta go all the way around. Find a place to turn around. Oh, for crying out loud. So there's two exits. One exit is, should have been reading the signs more carefully. Exits aren't usually designed like that. Usually you take an exit, you can turn left or right. So 205B was obviously this way. 205A was the other way. Oh man. Okay, well now we know for next time. Nowhere to turn around here, so I'm gonna have to go all the way up a few miles to the 101 take that back down to the 94 and go try again. Sort of do a little bit of a loop. It'll take me about eight miles to go around. According to Karen here, I don't know if I should trust her after that. How do you not know which exit to take, Karen? This is what happens when I don't double check every single little turn. Man, you always gotta check her work. You can't trust her. You did that on purpose. Nice houses in here though. There's a plus, nice scenic road. Beautiful. This would be a nice neighborhood to live in. All ranch style houses, big properties. Wow. Wow, is that a golf course? Oh, that makes sense. Golf course community, right? Okay, I get it. All of these houses, beautiful, wow. Money, money, money. Take the entrance to the right on and then 101 South. Money, 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 money. You got need a share? I took a wrong turn. Looking for donations. <laughs> okay, so this is my turn up here. This will be the 101. Like I said, this will take us back to the 94. And we'll go try again. Time we will not listen to Karen. In 300 meters, take the entrance to the right on and then 101 South. Better not be turning me the wrong way again. All this just for some cheaper juice. Anyway, Quick Trip, the price for me today at Quick Trip is $3.45 a gallon. The price at Pilot, which is usually cheaper in St. Cloud, the price there is $3.54 a gallon. 10 cents more a gallon. Trying to do it again, Karen. We're not gonna take this exit, we're gonna take 205A. They must have redone it recently or sometime and my GPS still hasn't updated. Maybe I need to take some time and update that again tonight. Okay, so not 205B. Turn left on 45th Street and then 241. 205A. We'll definitely have to update my GPS later. Four kilometers. Take CR 37, CR 19, Albertville. No, Karen, you don't know what you don't know. They changed it. Okay, so technically, I guess it's not Karen's fault. Maybe it's my fault for not updating her, but she should know this. Right? She should update on her own. Connected to my Wi Fi, my, like, my mobile Wi Fi. I don't know why she wouldn't. I guess I have to actually go in there and physically tell her, you need to update now. There we go. All right. Now that we're on the correct path, that didn't take too much time out of our day, thankfully. Quick 
trip is right here off to the right. Let's see how do we get in here now. Of 200 meters, turn right on. Oh my. Okay, Avonway men, turn right in 60 meters. Looks a little busy for such a small little quick trip. Oh man, of course. Yeah, now everybody wants to come in here and grab fuel. Shoot. Everybody's got the same idea that I have. Okay, what happens when you have cheap juice? Turn right and then okay, approach right your destination here? on the right side in 10 meters. Okay, so right here, eh? Okay, well, we've got to wait in line now. There are three pumps there. Looks like there's a van parked in this pump there. He's got his four ways on, so maybe he's fixing it or something. Maybe he's the fix-it man. I don't know. Well, this won't take too long. This is a really tight place here because you got the car pumps right here too, right? The exit or the entrance behind me there. And it's not really designed to have a lineup of trucks here. Entering North Dakota. Entering North Dakota. Be legendary. No pressure. This is Fargo, the other side of the river with Moorhead, same city, different states. Just up ahead will be the I-29 northbound. And as we take that north, that turns into 75 in Canada. So it does look like right now that I'm going to make it home for tonight. I'll be home around supper time and enjoy an evening at home and then tomorrow morning I'll head out get this freight delivered and then I gotta head back to Panora. So we'll get unloaded mid-morning tomorrow probably around like 9, 10 that's when they're expecting it there and then we'll run over to Kenora which is two hours from there probably get there on one Loaded, send in my paperwork, and make my way south again into Minnesota. Keep to the right on I-29 North US 81 North. It's a pretty good rounder if you time it right. If you time it right, Kenora, Brainerd, Shakopee home. Kenora, Brainerd, Shakopee home. I don't know if I'm going back to Shakopee after uh, after tomorrow's load. Time will tell. Ah, these guys gotta merge in here now and I've gotta make a right turn right away. And there's somebody up here on my left now. Okay, sorry guys, I can't move over for you. In one kilometer, keep to the right on I-29 North US ah, they one North. I had this pickup truck here. Right beside me. And I don't like to get out of the right lane when when my right hand turn is coming up here in like a mile. It's so often. Meters, keep to the right on I-29 North US 81 North. So often when you move over to be courteous to allow people into the lane who are merging into traffic, you'll get into the left lane, right? And then they'll merge in, match your speed, and just stay right beside you, locking you into the left lane. You need to get back over to the right so you can make your turn, right? But they won't let you back over. So, your attempt at being courteous now made you miss your turn. So you can either be courteous, risk missing your turn, or you can have the perception of being a dingbat and not move over, but guaranteed you won't miss your turn then. I don't even know what a dingbat is. What is that? I just made that up. Continue on this road for 247 kilometers. I'm trying to keep it YouTube friendly here. The word I was going to say would have gotten the video demonetized or something. This is a pretty big city. I remember when I was a kid, Fargo seemed like such a small town. It's really grown leaps and bounds throughout my lifetime. It's a big place now. It's the next morning. I was 
able to quickly run home, spend the evening at home, and the night at home in my own bed, which was great. Now we're back on the path to our delivery here the next morning. I'm gonna get these pallets off my trailer and run over to Kenora. We're gonna continue, we're gonna continue this vlog until we unload. And then we'll start tomorrow's vlog when we're empty and headed to Kenora. This is southeastern Winnipeg. I'm coming up here on Highway 59 northbound. Where it'll turn into La Jamodier Boulevard. There's a very nice neighborhood around here. This is Sage Creek off to our right. And I believe it's Island Lakes off to our left. Very nice, kind of prestigious neighborhoods to live in here. Beautiful homes, big houses. Big property tax too. <laughs> we looked into these houses when we were looking around and because uh, this is the side of the city that's closest to uh, our yard, right? For work. These uh, properties in here are very expensive. Well, for, for us, depending on like what your income level is. For us, we found it uh, that the, the yards were really small. Like the houses are very close together. You could literally jump off your roof onto your neighbor's roof. So we wanted a little bit more space. And a little bit more of a country feel. We didn't want to be in the city. And also with Brit's uh, eczema on her hands, I've talked about this before where she has uh, issues uh, with city water. Something in the water in Winnipeg hurts her skin. And it's not just her, we've heard it from many other people too. Something is in the water in Winnipeg that causes you, it, it eats away at your skin. It's freaky. There's a lot of people who uh, have issues with their children, like their young babies. And they can't figure out why. Well, because they're bathing them in the city water here. Now that's nothing proven. That's a little conspiracy theory somewhat in my head, but we do know that it does affect Brit's hands. Uh, so she, even if she washes her hands just once with city water, her hands start to dry up and crack and bleed. Whereas where we are, we have a well. So we have our own water source and we have a water softener. And that water is a lot easier on her skin. So that's one reason we couldn't live in the city because of the city water, the city of Winnipeg. So if you live in the city of Winnipeg, maybe the water doesn't, water doesn't do anything to me. It never affected me, but I don't know what they're putting in it. But with, if you want my personal opinion, I wouldn't drink it. I would get bottled water. Like those five gallon jugs or something. Because it didn't affect me, but it affects her, it freaked me out. So, so we live where we live. Plus, it's closer to uh, uh, where I grew up, and where Britt spent a lot of her childhood too, out in southeastern Manitoba. It's just a nice, quiet community. We're also not city people. I don't know if you've noticed over the years. I'm not a big fan of cities. Winnipeg's a smaller city, but it's big enough for me to be like, ah, too many people in one place. You know. And everybody's so aggressive. Like the drivers. And they're, they're always angry. They're always upset. And they're in a hurry to get nowhere. Like when you live in Winnipeg, pretty much, depending on what neighborhood you live in, everything is 15 minutes away. Everything's within 15, maybe 20, if you want to go to the other side of the city. They're close to everything. What are you in such a hurry for? <laughs> Everyone's in such a hurry. Out where we are, out in the rural areas, in the countryside, it's a little bit slower paced. People, I don't know, leave earlier and give themselves more time to get places? I don't know. Don't get me wrong, there's still grumpy people out where I live, but it feels better. I mean, it's just a, for me, it's a better atmosphere. Maybe that's just because that's where I grew up. I don't want to throw shade on the city because I have a lot of friends who live in the city here, and I myself have lived in Winnipeg. And uh, I found that it's not for me. It wasn't for me, but you know, a lot of people love it. It's a great city, a lot of great restaurants, a lot of culture in Winnipeg. You go down Corridon Avenue or to Osborne Village, uh, go see a Jets game downtown. Like Winnipeg is pretty awesome. 
I mean, it's, it, for me, it's fun to come visit, but it's nice to know that I can go home and leave this city when the fun is over. But that's just my own opinion, right? There's nothing wrong with living in the city. I totally get it. It's convenient. Everything is close by, and not everybody is miserable. There's a lot of good people here. And there's a lot of grumpy people, too. <laughs> Come on, you have to admit I'm right. Come on. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. I won't bite you on that. Whatever. Just like that. Hear my air suspension releasing air to go down because it can't keep up. They unloaded me that quickly. <laughs> so fast. Like, I got here and uh, they waited for me to get all of my equipment off the trailer, all of my corners, put everything away. All I had to do was roll up my straps. And they unloaded the whole trailer before I was done rolling up half of my straps. <laughs> They got two guys that come out here just boo, 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 get me unloaded. So it's 1040 now, and we're going to head to Kenora to load this afternoon, and then head down into Minnesota to unload that tomorrow morning. Kenora is about two hours from here, about 120 miles or uh, 200 kilometers or so. So I'm just going to send in this paperwork, let them know that I'm done, and then I'm on the way to the next one. So thanks for joining me today, guys. It was a fun trip up from up from Minneapolis. Thanks for hanging out with me and staying right to the end. So if you want to support the channel, the best way to do that is to leave a comment down below, hit the thumbs up button, and to subscribe. That is the key, subscription. If you haven't subscribed yet, I know about half of the views I get on my channel, people who aren't subscribed. So if you take a little bit of extra time, I'd really appreciate that. Just go down below my video, see that you're subscribed to my channel. If you want to, hit that bell so you get notified. We make new videos every day. If you want to go one step further, if you really, like you follow every day religiously, you want to go one step further, you can click the join now button, become a member. Then you actually get early access to all of my videos as well. And you get, you get to see them first. And in the comments section, you get a little badge beside your name so you, your comment stands out. And those comments actually get sent to me in a separate folder as well. So those ones I'm guaranteed not to miss, you know, but anyways, thanks everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow. Stay safe out there and drive safe.